so uh, Kamal, um, Kamal has uh, been very patiently chewing my bazooki because I'm not very good at it yet. So this is my lockdown instrument. I picked it up because with Kamal playing bazooki beside me all the last five years, I've been so jealous and I wanted to learn it myself. Now, I'm not very as good, <laughs> and anywhere near as good as Kamal, but this is my favourite song to sing because I get to play the bazooki. And uh, it's also a song that is all about the Irish in America. So Andy wrote this because um, Andy, Andy myself are meeting so many people at Irish festivals all over America. Um, we were blown away by the people that we meet and the ancestors that they had and how many years ago Irish, their Irish relatives came over and the jobs that they had to get to where they were today. And we get blown away by the success and the pride that people who are connected to Ireland have when we meet them at these festivals. And we're just, I love it because I'm really proud to be Irish as well. <laughs> and so when you meet people who are proud to have their ancestors from Ireland, I'm like, no way, where are they from? And we love talking to them about it. But we also meet people who have zilch Irish ancestry, who also, in my head, are Irish. So when you meet people, and they are, it's in their hearts. Look down into the audience and you know that some people have did the ancestry to come and they don't have any Irish in them, but they have the biggest Irish head you've ever seen. <laughs> Irish people know exactly what that is. So um, this is a song, it goes, I've pushed ice in Savannah or shades in LA, made coffee in Milwaukee, and Irish born and raised. Have you got that? We might have changed the lyric there. <laughs> See as we're here. Because I've pushed ice in Savannah, wore shades in LA, made coffee in Milwaukee. I'm Irish born and raised. You'll excuse me if I mess up the lyrics as I go. You'll have to keep me in time with the Milwaukee bit, alright? Um, this is called Irish born.